on the North Norfolk coast again today and uh, I'm right in a honey hole and uh, really really could have shot probably 10 or 15 birds by now but haven't pulled the trigger yet I'm just watching them come into the decoys and uh, just enjoying the day I've got quite a low tide I think it's 7.8 no surge uh, light southerly wind it's pretty chilly this morning down to about one degree bit of a frost on the car Just got birds absolutely everywhere. So just a real joy to be out today. And uh, I will shoot some at some point, but I'm um, gonna try and focus on only shooting cock widgeon. We'll see if that happens. And uh, just really here to enjoy the day, aren't we Merlin? Merlin's not too impressed I've not shot any yet, are you? But I'm sure that will happen. I've seen a couple of lovely big bunches of teal as well in one of the other channels, but I decided to get out here so I could try and get some really nice footage of uh, widgeon coming into the decoys because I've not had that really this year, um, not in good light anyway, and uh, it's one of the joys of being out wildfowl and seeing these birds come right into your decoys. Um, but it certainly looks like we've got migrants turned up. Um, I've seen lots and lots and lots of field bears on the way up here to get today. We've got starlings coming in. And uh, I've also seen some pink feet milling around. So, yeah, we'll see what goes on. I've got, probably can't sit on the GoPro, but I've got three widget, three teal decoys. The teal decoys closer. I'm hoping when the tide comes in, comes another widget. It's going to come right in. So he didn't come into decoys, but he got within about 10 yards of me. And uh, three teal decoys in close to me. And then I've got another three widgeon just the other side with a little bit of a gap for them to fly, fly, fly into. I'm hoping as the tide comes in, it's going to come in from right to left. That's going to swing my decoys out. Come another two. Yeah, so as I was saying, I hope the tide comes in from right to left. That should swing the decoys from my right out towards in front of me. I don't want them directly in front of me because I've not got a lot of hide today. Um, so I want the birds to come in from the side, really. We'll see what happens. Hey, Merlin. He said, why aren't I shooting them? as that pack was it's quite a big pack and they didn't come into the decoys so um, although I could have took a shot I would have disturbed about 20 and 30 birds with one shot so didn't really want to do that I want to ideally only shoot at smaller groups singles and pairs so um, just try and pick my birds today
well as I'd hoped the tide's coming in from right to left as you should expect uh, with the bay over to my right or the sea entrance to my right and um, most of the widgeon are now cleared and the decoys are in front so a lot of the widgeon have lost, left the loafing areas now and um, what I'm now waiting for is the odd bird to come back uh, so I can start shooting and we'll see what happens. Single pink foot now coming down the estuary. Probably a bit too far for GoPro. <laughs> So I don't have very big anchor weights on my lines. Um, I'm hoping, but being in this smaller channel, that the um, tide's not going to be strong enough to move those anchor weights and my birds will stay out where I want them. If not, I may have to position them in some shallower water. Um, but we'll see if they hold. So one teal is still sitting out nicely in the channel and all the other birds are sitting around near the sand, which is naturally what they do, they don't just sit on the water, they will try and swim up to the bank and then roost on the mud or loaf about on the mud. So hopefully we'll be able to trick some. I've got the wind coming from that direction which is the south. So I'm hoping the birds are going to come across this sand bank, look to decoy nicely, I'll get some nice footage and maybe one or two birds. We shall see. With wild fallon <laughs> very rarely works exactly as you expect it, so we'll see what happens. Good boy, Merlin. Good boy, get over. Good boy, get over. Good boy, get over. Good boy, get over. Good boy. Good boy, steady. Good boy, steady. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Come on in, bring him here. Well, as for the hide today, I've had to keep the hide, hide really, really, really low profile. Um, and as you can see, Merlin's not too happy because it is very low. I've literally been having to lay down and then set up to shoot to try and keep out of the way of the birds because they've just been very, very wary. So um, this is what we've done, what we've done today, isn't it, Merlin? I'm literally having to lay back like this until the birds come in and then as the birds get into range I set up above the hide and just shoot them as they've been flying mainly from uh, left to right so uh, not shot as well as, as I'd hope to shoot but uh, probably due to the fact I've been sitting down and laying down Anyway, that's enough excuses for me, so...
throw the decoy in. Good boy. 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 So this year I've set myself an arbitrary early season limit of seven duck. Um, there is no limit to what I can, what you can shoot in the UK. If you're on fly ponds, um, you know it's quite acceptable to, to have rather larger bags because you may only will be shooting that fly pond once every three to four weeks. But certainly out on the coast, um, I've tried to limit my bags in the early season um, simply because there are a lot of young birds and they can be very foolish. And I've had some red letter days in the past, um, but there is only so many duck that you can eat. So um, even though I've got a family of six and they all eat the duck I shoot, um, seven is quite sufficient, especially when it comes to widgeon. Good boy, get back. Get back. Get back, go back. Go back. Go back. Good boy, go back. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Well, I have to say, I'm not sh shooting particularly well today, but then again, I am laying and sitting down to try and keep a really low profile because these birds are just so wary of me behind a hide. I really don't want them to come. And then when they do, like that last one, I make a mess of it. But luckily, I've got Merlin to uh, make amends for my poor shooting. He just made a 150 yard swim. Pick that bird dead. Good boy. What a dog. Good boy. But this one is a lovely cock widgeon. Hit quite hard in the side. Yet yeah, managed to fly all that way before dying. Hold on, Mel. Good boy. Good boy, Mel. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Have a good shake. Good boy. Hey, where are you going? Come on, bring him here. Bring him here. Bring him here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Look, it's back! 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 Steady! Steady! Boy! So I'm just sitting here waiting for the tide to go down now and um, hoping to get a little bit of footage of uh, birds dropping into the decoys. I really haven't had many do it today. A few nice drakes do it and uh, a couple of young birds but they really want to be on the other side of where I'm shooting. Uh, they seem to have been very very wary of the decoys so whether they're shining or I don't know maybe somebody's shot here yesterday. Um, they have been very very weary um, but I've still enjoyed myself so just need to wait for the tide to go down a little bit more so I can cross the channel and uh, head back home because I've got some work to do tonight um, but we'll uh, see if we can pick up a little bit more footage of uh, birds simply coming into the decoys fingers crossed Let's have some of the nice drakes I've got today Three nice drakes. I've been trying to pick the drakes as they've been coming through. And then I've got, I've got four younger birds. I'm pretty happy with that. 